Hello everyone, uh, Mike Henderson here. I'm going to do a series of videos on how to typeset your novel using OpenOffice Writer. Now if you haven't done it so far, uh, uh, go take a look at my video on how to use page styles because a lot of uh, what happens here depends on whether you know how to operate the page styles or not because uh, things like uh, having different um, headers on different pages and not having headers on some pages while having headers on other pages um, is a function of the page styles in open office as they refer to them. <coughs> open office is a, a very useful and powerful word processing program. It does everything we needed to do and it's free. It comes with an, a suite of uh, programs. Uh, it comes with a database program. It comes with a drawing and a, a spreadsheet program and so forth. But for our purposes, we're going to only use the uh, Office, uh, rather Open Office Writer. So here I have Open Office Writer going, and I have uh, brought into it my manuscript. I write, uh, for whatever reason, I like to write with um, Courier. So I have uh, you know the headings. I write in also, uh, by the way, write in um, Scrivener. Now Scrivener may have a way to do some of these things. I don't know. Um, I don't think, even if it does, you're still going to have to uh, massage it because you can't, if, uh, you can't just uh, take this stuff and publish it. And this typesetting, by the way, has to do with uh, paperback books or hardcover books. I reckon it would be the same. Uh, not uh, Kindle books or uh, e-books because the e-book is a different animal. It doesn't care about pagination or, uh, to a large degree, the line spacing. That that's all you can control all of that from the uh, reader. But in the book, it's got to look like a book. There are certain conventions, and there are—I don't say there are rules, but if the best thing to do is. It, is to look at a few uh, hardcover books and a few paperbacks and see how they um, paginated them and see how they have laid them out as far as chapters are concerned and what fonts they use. Of course, a Courier font is not acceptable. This is Courier New that, I, that you see here. Uh, this is not acceptable uh, to publish your book. And neither is, by the way, of course, Arial is not acceptable, and neither is Times New Roman. And it's not acceptable to simply take this and uh, change the line spacing in Times New Roman and then uh, put it into a book. Um, you can't do that. What you want to do, especially in the self-publishing world, with, uh, where there is a very bad reputation, and I must say well-deserved, uh, you have to make it look very professional. And there are certain conventions and certain ways to do that. So one thing you, you notice is I have here uh, just just the manuscript, just like uh, it comes out of uh, Scrivener. Um, it's double-spaced. Your book cannot be double-spaced. It's got this header, which is not the header for a book, and so forth. So the first thing I'm going to do is figure out what <coughs> excuse me, what font I want to use. So I'm going to uh, do Control A, and that selects everything in the document. Uh, hopefully, so everything. Yeah. Okay. So not the headers, but uh, all the text and documents selected. And here is my whoops, here is my font. And I use um, Palatino 
linotype. Don't use anything goofy. So use um, something like this. You can do, you can Google on um, uh, the internet. You can Google uh, typefaces that are good. Uh, another one that is useful is um, uh, f for typesetting a book is one called Minion. A lot of books are in Minion. Or um, something like that. So you can you what I mean you can, and you can get most of these for free or for a small fee. So. Um, in any case, for our purposes, I am going to use up here somewhere, I hope. And well, I just P. Whoops, get back here. Do it again. Palatino Linotype, boom. And the whole book goes to that. Okay. To the end. Now, I want it to be 12 point, at least for now. Now, you can, different fonts look differently and act differently in different um, uh, sizes, so you just have to goof around. If you find a font that you would rather use than this, go ahead. Um, this is a serif font, so if we zoom in on this, you see that there are little damage at, at you know on the letters which uh, as opposed to a sans serif like uh, Arial Let, let's just look at this sentence as an Arial uh, font just a plain just a okay so here's Arial uh, you see it's just the plain letters this has a uh, little little ticks here and there on the letters on the D's and on the K's, I mean all over the place. You see this is just plain. This is an S but there is no little tick on the end of the uh, S. Um, this is very hard to read uh, for any length of time so people suggest that you uh, use a uh, serif font and not a sans serif font, sans meaning without, um, to um, uh, typeset your book. Okay, so I've changed the size of the font. I mean, I changed the font so that now it is all sans serif. Except for the the header, and I'll get to that in a minute. So I'm going to zoom back out so I can see what I'm doing. And Now it's double spaced because if you submit your manuscript to uh, a publisher or an agent, they generally want it to be double spaced. But when you are publishing a book, it cannot be double spaced. So here's what we're going to do. We go to, now it's going to be, this is the font and then this is the font size. Okay, we'll leave it like that. Um, I don't want it double spaced, so I'm going to go to uh, the format paragraph. Actually, uh, I'm sorry, got to select it all. Uh, format paragraph uh, indent and spacing. I don't, uh, I don't want any of that right now, but the spacing. Nothing below or below. This is line spacing. I'm going to put it at uh, fixed, and then we have to figure out what it's going to be, which uh, you, know, you, you sort of have to experiment with it. But um, let's see. The, so this is point two. Let's see what it does. Say OK, and uh, you see what it's done. That is probably a little too close together. So, I mean, really, I don't know if there's any convention or rule about this, but you um, you fool with this through paragraph, line spacing, not line spacing, um, yeah, line spacing, what I'm talking about. 
uh, fixed. You know, maybe you want this to be point uh, three. I don't know because you want a little space in between the words, but not too much. Now this might be too much, so I'm going to select everything again. And by the way, I know a lot of people have had a problem with selecting text. I had it for months and months. And I found, in other words, I would try to select the whole document and it would take, you know, 20 minutes to select the whole thing. And what I found was there was an extension uh, in my case, it was uh, a word count taskbar or something like that that was doing it. So if you're having a problem with that, where it, it really you should be able to select the entire document with a Control A uh, uh, instantaneously. And if, if that doesn't fly, if it takes a long time, then disable your um, um, extensions and and then close the program and restart it and see what it does. In any case, uh, Control A, this as you see, it selects the whole document, which is about, you know, it says it's 300 pages down here. Um, I don't want the spacing to be this much, so I, I'll go back to format, paragraph spacing, and uh, line spacing fixed and uh, 0.25 maybe let's see what happens okay it looks a little better as you go through you can say well I don't like that all right that's the first thing you've got to have a readable font and there are only a handful of fonts uh, which you can uh, google uh, you know the best fonts for typesetting or whatever. And then there are places, you know, if you go online, also you can Google them, you can search for these fonts and uh, find them. All right, now I have just taken my text with the same width and everything and um, have it like this. Well, you also can't do your book like this because your book is not as wide as this. If you look at a book, you know, it's only about 10 words across. What do we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You know, it's like 19 or 20 words, so this has to be cut down. How do you do that? Well, if you look here, and this is done with the page um, styles, which I've done a whole thing on. A whole video. Um, this says it's a first page style. Well, what that does, uh, we'll see in a minute. So we'll go to format, um, page, and this is now the first page. It's not right, and it says up here first page. All of this modifies only uh, the first page. And it says here, first page, next style is default. So what this tells you, you know, if you go to my styles page, you can see how that is done. I don't want it to be default. I want it to be um, uh, left page, which we'll talk about. The page, uh, this is where the dimensions come in. Now, I like to use a book that is... Um, uh, five and a quarter, so I do that here, 5.25 by 8 inches, uh, and this is the uh, margins all the way around, so now I have set this is the page size, right? This is, represents these margins. Well, I want this to be uh, what do I want this to be? Well, it depends on the size of book. I have gone to uh, Create Space and gotten a uh, template for a book of this size, and it gives uh, the standard uh, parameters, standard dimensions, margins. This is 0.9. Uh, 
Now this is 0 0.6, this is 0 0.76, and the other one is 0.76. So you enter that all manually. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. But uh, So what you see is now my first page, I'll go back to uh, the first page format, page. Um, you can see the size of it, so it changed the size. Now there's one more thing. This is a book. So when you open a book, it doesn't have it's, it's not perfectly symmetrical, whether you realize it or not. It looks that it might look that way, but um, because of the um, binding, uh, the binding and the fold that, that 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 goes down to the binding or the cre or the you know the curve that goes down to the binding eats up some space, so it tends to look. Uh, uh, normal, uh, it's symmetrical, but it's not. Page layout. This is one of the keys to formatting a novel in this program. Is page layout. You don't want it to be left and right. I want mirrored. So here you see what it's done. This is the binding of the book. This is where it is 0.9 inches, and this is where it's 0.6 inches. And this top and bottom. The book then is uh, the binding is here. So that gives me um, it, the effect of having space for the uh, binding of the book, which you're going to need. If you upload this to uh, create space, you're going to need uh, that space in there. So we'll say OK. And here is my first page. Now, actually, go back one more. Well, I, I mentioned it briefly, but let's go back to this page. After every, let's see, go to the header. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mention the header. I do not, this is the first page. I do not want a header on the page. When you uh, format your book, you're going to want a header on the right page, a header on the left page, but no header on certain other pages. So, for example, front matter or the first chapter the first page of a chapter. So this this box here clicks on and off. You click it off. Header uh, header on is not ticked, so that means header off. Uh, these things have to do uh, with something you can't control now. So forget about that. So uh, that's that. The rest of these we don't concern ourselves with, so we say OK, and uh, that's that. Now we go down to the next page. And uh, I have told it to follow with a uh, left page. That's what we've got here. But the left page I haven't adjusted yet, so we'll go to Format um, Page Organizer. Well, after every left page, because it says here's the left page, we're doing a left page, and it says it's a left page. So the next style, in other words, the style of the page that follows this one is going to be a right page. Uh, the page dimensions are going to be just as I uh, entered them, so it's uh, 5.25 and 8. And then here is going to be, um, again, the same as 0 0.9, 0 0.6, 76 0.76 page layout must you see how it's blacked out is left only no I don't want left only page layout is going to be mirrored this is by the way the page numbering so that's just how we want it so this is how it should be and uh, when we go back it's just like that page now got one more page to go which is um, uh, chapter one is I don't want a header here so this is going to be a first page now how do I get it to be like that uh, some people have said you can go here and click on it and it becomes a first page and so, uh, uh, I, I haven't got that to work why does it go from here to there is because there's a page break. 
I'm going to erase that page break. All right, so I did a backspace. And now page one is on the same page as this. But I don't want that, so what I'm going to do, I eliminated the page break that was there, but I'm going to put in a new one. I'm going to go to uh, Insert, Manual Break, Page Break, Style. Uh, I want this to be a first page. I don't worry about the page number yet because here you can change the page number and we'll see where that comes in later. But I'm going to go OK and boom. Chapter 1 is uh, without a header. The following page after that is a left page and we can put a header in it or we should be able to. So um, I will continue this on the next uh,